Okay, uh, <laughs> I'm a little rattled up because of this movie. Um, here's my video review for Fall. Um, the movie Fall. Uh, uh, before I get into it, um, I am very afraid of heights. Um, I have a, I've been afraid of heights since I was a little kid. Um, and it's, it's probably my greatest fear, um, maybe aside from like being afraid of snakes. It, it be, I think being afraid of heights is probably one of the most rational fears, um, that a, like a human being can have. Like it, it's, I, it's perfectly okay to be afraid of heights. Um, I, because there's certain things where being afraid of them is, is irrational, like irrational fears of like clowns or, you know, spiders, which really aren't usually that dangerous. Heights, yeah. Um, usually in almost every, in almost every case I can see being afraid of heights, totally reasonable. Um, and this movie <laughs> fucking confirmed that, uh, fucking confirmed that 100%, uh, again. Um, oh boy, uh, this movie, uh, really got to me. <laughs> I mean, um, regardless of, like, the the actual quality of, like, the film itself, like, this film utilizes the, the, the fear of heights, acrophobia, to, you know, probably, probably its maximum potential. I mean, man, they film so many, like, almost 60% of the shots when they're, uh, these two characters are on top of that 2,000 foot tower, uh, the radio tower, it's mostly pointed towards the ground, and it's, it just, it made my stomach churn most of the time, um, so, already off the bat, like, I'm the kind of person who would be affected by this movie the most, I mean, there's some people who, there's a lot of people who aren't afraid of heights, like Mr. Tom Cruise, I mean, he frickin' climbed the Burj Khalifa in Ghost Protocol, and, like, you can tell he was enjoying that. Um, so people like Tom Cruise probably would not get, you know, would not be affected really by this movie. Um, I was absolutely affected by this movie. Um, I am the person that's uh, the tar target demographic because I am one of the most fearful of heights that you could probably find. Um, and when you put characters that uh, at... 2,000 feet above the ground and you hear this really old radio tower making all these, you know, creaking sound effects and you can, uh, like, it It does something to me when you do something like that. Like, it, my stomach is still in knots uh, from watching this. I literally just got out of it. Um, overall, I'd say this movie is a reasonably good time for the most part. Um, it's definitely not a great movie. Um, it's, it's a pretty much, it's pretty much a B movie on, on par with something like 47 meters down. I mean, this movie really kind of, when I saw the trailer for this and I heard the premise, like I literally thought this is literally 47 meters down, except it's on this really tall tower. And essentially it is, um, it even has animals that, you know, revolve around this whole thing, uh, kind of like 47 meters down with the sharks, uh, with these vultures that are flying around the tower. Um, but, you know, these kind of movies can be effective. Um, and, um, like 47 meters down, I thought was okay. I didn't watch any of the sequels. Like I didn't even care, uh, bother with those. Like, these these kind of bottle films are really appealing to me because they're so simple and because they only utilize like one distinct location you know it, it can it can be really well done or it can be really terrible um and the movie this movie kind of falls like in the middle of that um it's so, like there's some really good cinematography in this like they even though you can clearly tell that they didn't weren't actually this high off the ground, at least I don't believe they were. Um, maybe some of the shots were filmed, you know, on a pretty tall tower. Definitely not 2,000 feet tall. Uh, absolutely not. Um, 
so there is some, there's a lot of um there's a lot of chroma keying and you know a lot of uh you know artificial uh backdrops for the ground of course um and for the most part i didn't notice it that much and you know that's that's a good thing um in the beginning of the film however which takes place on like a on a mountain that they're climbing uh that didn't look good at all um and a character starts falling down to the ground and it looked pretty bad um it looks like sci-fi channel uh kind of quality and um you know it's the story is not really anything that special. I mean, it's it's about overcoming grief um, and overcoming, you know, your fears, which is stereotypical for a movie, uh, for an adventure movie like this. Um, and, but it's, it's well, for the most part, it's really well acted. I mean, there's only really f four main actors in this film. And um, one of them is Grace Fulton. Uh, I know she changed her name recently, uh, Grace something. Uh, she changed it like just in the past month or so. Uh, I've I've always really liked her. Um, she really does great job, a great job with showing emotion, and she's really good at it here. Um, I've I've always liked her since I saw her in Annabelle Creation, and I think she, I think she's very talented, and she's really good in this film. Um, I forget the act, the other actress's name, but she was she was for the most part doing a decent job. Um, I wasn't so so much big on her character because she was really stupid and annoying uh, in the beginning of this film, and she made a lot of stupid, just mean decisions. Like she she's you know the she's the wild card in this kind of pair that go up this tower, um, and she's you know she's making jokes and you know pulling these kind of pranks while they're climbing a fucking 2000 foot tower like fuck you if you ever do that shit to me for first of all i would never do that anyway but if i did and you did that to me i'd i'd literally i'd when we got to the top of that thing i'd push you off <laughs> sorry that's that's just that's just unexcusable um and she kept, she did that a few times and it really was like, are you, are you serious? Are you trying to make, are you trying to make me hate you? Um, and you know, but I, the two of them have good chemistry with each other. Um, and Jeffrey Dean Morgan was in this movie, which I had no, which I had no idea he was actually in this and he, he's not in it much, but you know, he's, he's always a good presence. I, I always like seeing him, um, but uh no it the sequences when they're trying uh when they're trying to f figure out how to get down off this tower when the ladder breaks and you know there's really no easy way to do so um and there's no obviously there's no cell phone service so they can't contact anyone um so they have to figure out ways to find a spot kind of closer to the ground where they where they can get service and there's a few there's a few, you know, kind of clever moments with that. Some of it is really stupid and would probably never work ever. Um, but you know, it's, it's a movie and they probably, you have to suspend, this is a movie where you definitely have to suspend your disbelief a little bit. Um, it's, it's definitely not a brilliant movie. Um, it's definitely not, you know, it's definitely not something that you're going to think about that much when you leave the theater, but like as a kind of as the kind of like roller coaster movie like a th kind of like a theme park attraction kind of movie um it's it's not badly done really it's it's pretty it's well shot like i said it's well acted definitely um and there's there's a lot of really kind of cool sequences where it it really does if you're afraid of heights and um I I both recommend you see this movie in the theater and I don't recommend you see it because if if you're if you have really bad acrophobia then you probably might throw up a few like you might you probably might want to throw up a few points during the movie but um if you are less on that spectrum then I recommend seeing it because it it's I'd say it's worth you know it's worth that kind of thrill that you get from seeing something like this.
So, um, I'm going to give the film a 7 out of 10. It's, it's, it's decent for what it is. It's definitely not great. Um, and it's definitely not something that's super memorable, um, in terms of the storytelling or characters. I mean, these are pretty blank, like these are pretty like stock characters that you probably see in most, you know, most movies, but you know, it's, it's a thrill ride. It, this movie really is a thrill ride. And if you're looking for something like that, then I think you'll have a fun time with it.